Hello, everyone. So uh, I think I only have five minutes, so I'll try to be quick. So uh, as you meant, as you saw earlier, we are trying to create standard for for drone, and these are some of the standards that Holy Bro is deeply involved in. So I would like to talk a little bit more about the V6X standard and the Pixhawk Autopilot Bus standard, and also uh, our product, current product and future products. So in 2018, we, we released the Pixhawk 4. It follows the FMU V5 standard. And, and then later in 2021, we released the FIC 5X, which used the Pixhawk Autopilot Bus standard, which is their connectors and uh, it follows a set of pin map from the, from the standard. We also call it the PAB. And it used the F7 processor. And last year, we released the 6X, which used the 6X standard. Also, they used the PAB as a modular design. And some of the key design point for the 6X is uh, it runs an F7 processor. It used the PAB modular design, triple redundancy. And Three redundancy domain, temperature control, and Ethernet interface. And using the PAB, you can use various baseboard for various reasons. So if your drone is has limited space, you can use a mini a mini baseboard that we produce, or you can make your own. And we really also released the Pixhawk Raspberry Pi CM4 baseboard last year. It has a small form factor that has a Raspberry Pi CM4 inside that connects to the Pixhawk Autopilot. And um, we also will be releasing a Pixhawk Jetson baseboard that will be coming soon, hopefully in the next couple months, that had, that would use the NVIDIA Jetson Orin NX and N Orin Nano. It also follow the PAB standard. So you can use our flight controller or any other flight controller that follows the PAB. And we're also going to release a 6X with a more industrial grade IMU sensor sets, and and then uh, from yesterday you might have heard that uh, there will be also a, uh, a flight controller that's based on the NXP MCU. That one of the best selling point of this flight controller it has a dual core running at one gigahertz and a second core running at four hundred megahertz. And it also will be using the PAB standard, so you can also use all the baseboard that Holy Bro or other company provides, and depending on your need. So, of course, with Flight Controller, we also have a bunch of different power modules you can choose from, up from uh, a small power module, PMO2, up to PMO8D, which is a 200A uh, continuous rating power module. And we, last year, we re released the uh, the X, I think last year or two years ago, we released the X500 V2 dev kit, and and some some uh, customer wanted a bigger and bigger bigger version, and that can take a higher payload. So in the coming coming months, we'll release a, a X650, and it would have a much higher payload and also a foldable arm. And uh, we'd like to talk a little bit about the GPS system that we we have. So a few years ago, we introduced the F9P RTK series. Had, we we have three different antenna selection, and later on we have we have adapted the drone cam protocol. So we so there's uh, two version now. We have the UART version and the drone cam version. And uh, a few weeks ago, we also released the ultralight version, which weighed only 21 gram. And it's designed for like weight conscious application where like every gram matters. And recently we also released a, a RTK module with two antenna. We call it the, using the Unicore UM982 chip. So one of the benefits is it use two antennas so you can achieve a GPS heading with just one module. And, uh, and it's perfect for environment with high magnetic interference such as like on a, on a Medic on a metal boat, launching on a boat, near power lines and things like that. And coming soon, we have uh, another RTK uh, with Septentrion Mosaic chip. Uh, main selling point of this is uh, it's more resilient against GPS, uh, G GPS jamming and spoofing. 
and we'll also be using uh, NSP chip to to release a F9P RTK. That's it, only. Thank you very much.